Good morning, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Thursday, August the 16th, 2018. I hope you're having a great day. We're winding down the week. Tomorrow is Friday. Can you believe it? We're almost to the end of another week. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit today about glass. Now, glass is something that we use every single day in our lives just about, whether we drink out of it or whether we uh, drive our car and there's the windshield in front. There's so many things made out of glass that you use just on a daily basis. You could have a glass like this that you drink your coffee out of, a nice pretty glass like that. Or you could have uh, a glass tray, a glass dish that you might display candy or fruit in. Um, there's uh, a little glass like this, like that you might have a little bit of a dessert or a, a, a little cocktail if you imbibe with something like this. Um, and then there's different types of glass. There's colored glass. There's clear glass. There's glass with things written on it, words written on it. There's all kinds of glass. You might have a glass ornament that hangs like on a chandelier or on a window. This is a multifaceted piece of glass. When the light hits it, it makes pretty colors all over the place. And then, of course, you could have a big chunk of glass like this that you would use like in a picture frame, you know? So there's uh, all different kinds of glass out there. Glass is a good thing, but it also could be a very dangerous thing. Have you ever broken a glass and cut your hand? Or have you ever seen where somebody accidentally, heaven forbid, has an accident and goes through the window of a car or something like that? Glass could also be very dangerous, but it could also be very helpful. Glass is clear. It's transparent. It's see-through. Glass is something that could be thick. It could be thin. It has many many uses. Unlike wood, which is not. You can't see me, can you? See, there's the wood. You couldn't see me, could you? But if I take a piece of glass and I do this, of course you can. So my question to you today, boys and girls, is are you transparent like that glass? Or are you more like a solid piece of wood where you don't let anybody see inside your heart and in your head. Now let me bring some balance to this, boys and girls. Being transparent does not mean telling every single person every single thing about your life and everybody being in your business. I don't mean that at all. I'm talking about just being real. I know that I would much, much rather be transparent like this where people could see through and see through to my heart and the, the key is is my heart pure because if I'm transparent and I'm doing all kinds of things that are incorrect and wrong and sinful and bad then when they see through they're not going to see anything very pretty what they need to see is right through that glass, right through that transparency so they could see the good in me. So I encourage you today, boys and girls, if you are walking around in life like this, where you don't let anybody see you, you'd rather be like a piece of wood and hide behind it, I encourage you, boys and girls, it's much nicer to be like a piece of glass. It's much nicer to be able to see through something like this than it is to be hidden away and not sharing your feelings and thoughts with others. You know, it's interesting because glass is also a mirror is glass. If you think about the, the story of Alice in Wonderland, it's Alice through the looking glass because in days of old, a mirror was referred to as a glass. It's even mentioned in the Bible where it mentions a mirror like glass. So when people look at you, what do they see in their reflection? What is the reflection that they see when they look in a mirror and they look at you? you through a mirror. Do they see this or do they see this? I would much prefer being that, wouldn't you? So go be a blessing to somebody today. Go be transparent and real with somebody today so that you could be a blessing to them, okay? Don't bore them and don't talk their head off. Just be transparent and real and be a blessing. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R, and I'll show you a few times where I'm transparent with you, my listening audience, my, my viewing audience, and also for some great music, and I'll tell you, that's a station where it's real, wrmz.org. 
I hope you enjoy the great, fine programming on Ram FM. Okay, I love you all very much. Now, don't forget, go out there, get yourself a nice glass of coffee or a cup of tea or something, but uh, make sure that you don't do it behind a cloud or behind a piece of glass. I mean, behind a piece of wood, okay? I love you all very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.